Hello everyone, I'm Ichika and welcome to Orin Studios. In today's tutorial, we'll learn how to do a flyer for a church event. So first of all, we want to create a document. So you do that by using the shortcut Control plus N. Today's work we're looking at using a custom size. Um, I'll be working with let's say 3. Um, 3.4. I don't want it to be a perfect square, so 3.4 by 3.6 is okay. The resolution is set to 300. It's okay for me. Color mode is RGB, perfect. Background is white. That's okay. So we move straight into it. Now, first thing first, let's create a shape over our background okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to drop in a background so i'll drop this in i adjust it to suit what i'm looking for and then bear in mind uh, the people you see in this image have nothing to do with the design it's just for educational purposes so i'm going to change the blend mode to luminous and then apply a layer mask activate the brush tool by using the shortcut key B change the hardness to zero as you see here you can increase the size of the brush then you can just clean the edges so let's increase the opacity say 50 and then increase the brush size by using the shortcut key um, close bracket opacity if it's too strong for us so there you go we are we are done with the background and before you go on i want to add some gaussian blur to this image here so we can do that by moving over to filter go over to blur Gaussian blur then apply the Gaussian blur and then you choose let's work with um say 3.6 or 3.5 this is okay so now let's introduce our images I'm going to be using Raya Chris for this design. We want to have about six guest ministers. So let's create some boxes for them. And I'll be speeding up this process. So now I created these boxes because I'm going to be dropping the images in there. So I guess uh, ministers would find their faces uh, fixed in these boxes and then we are going to give them a tag I'll, I'll teach you how to do the tag. So let's, let's first of all bring in the images. Let's drop them one after the other. So I've already cropped out the images because I want to make this video as short as possible. But if you want to learn how to crop out images, you can check out this video after this tutorial. Now let's move on. So let's turn off all these images and leave one out. So we are going to clip mask this image to one of these boxes. What we are going to do is to select a box, take the image over there, press and hold on the Alt key and drag your mouse over here and click. So we clip max over there. Control T to bring our transformation. And then just press and hold on the Alt key if you're using the latest version of Photoshop. If you're using the older versions, you can press and hold on Alt and Shift and then apply transformation. So this is it. This is okay. 
um, the next one would be this and the same process would be applied to all of them so I'll be speeding up the process from here and I want to write out their names and um, apply some effect on the images so let's start by applying the effect let's see I want to give them a uniform color blend so what I'm going to do is to change this color here do the same for all of them and now select all the Im the pictures and then change their blend mode to luminous so need so they now have a a uniform color blend now I want to write out their names so let's write out the first one and we'll repeat the same process for all of them uh, I'll use the font Montserrat Yes, so we are going to do the same thing for all of them and uh, we'll repeat the process. So once again, I'll be speeding up from here, but it's the same process all over again, just repetition. So let's move. So now what you want to do is to put all of this in a group so that you can have your work organized. So select all of them, Control J to put them in a group so that your work is very organized. Control T because I think it's too big, so I want to reduce the size a little. Yes, this is okay. Now I want to um, create a shape and then use that as a tag. For what they are doing, what's their purpose on the flyer. So just hit on the A key to bring out the transform tool, the direct transform, direct selection tool, I mean, and then just click on one anchor point, hold on shift, and then drag it down. Yes, apply. Uh, it's too big, so control T to bring out transformation. Control T to bring out transformation, reduce the size just a little. So I'm just creating another shape here. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to type out what they are there for. T and then turn hold on shift and then turn it yes that's it Alright, so now I want to add the, the text to it, the main theme to the design and it's, uh, let's assume it's the first anniversary of uh, a worship concert. So, first and then let's change the color to white, first of all. And then make this and a lower case. Let's now make it bigger. OK. 
Okay. So we are just as we go along. Now, and eventually, so. Let's change the uh, the space in between the letters. So automatic. Or oh, let's set it to let's say 16 and T. Okay, so let's increase the font size. So drag it down here. Uh, let's increase the spacing. Yes, I think 19 is okay. We would have to also reduce the size of the ST. Yes. Okay, so there's a trick. If this is bothering you, just cut it out from the text and then type it out. So you can have absolute control on how you want it to be positioned. Yes. Of course, you're going to use the same size as this. So, let's say if this is 70, we'll make this 70 as well. Good. Now, let's drag it in a line. We are not sure. We are not sure it's aligned. Now let's try and make the ST and the one stand out. To do that, I want to apply a gradient overlay. So double click here and then uh, apply gradient. So I already have my custom gradient set. So you can select this, change the color. RGB to 128104 and then this one change the colors to 234 this is the same as this so okay so we copy the effect on the one uh, let's see even if we are cool with the angle the opacity yes opacity should be set to 100 um, linear is okay so everything else is okay so now let's come over here right click in this area and then select copy layer style select the st and then paste layer style so there you go there you have it now you realize that the writing is kind of being obstructed by the image we have here so to do to correct that or to have it stand out you are going to select this image Apply a layer mask, hit B to bring out the brush to increase the opacity. Let's make sure that the brush hardness is set to zero. Increase the opacity to 50 or 60 and then clean the side. Yes. Now you can now reduce the opacity as we climb up. Now we are actually also cleaning because we would need to put some info down there. So we would have to erase this part so that we can add some info down there. So to, to clean, make sure the foreground color is set to black and to restore it's set to white. So when it's black, it erases. Let's increase the opacity so you can see what I mean. When it's black, it erases, Control Z to undo. When it's white, it restores, Control Z to undo. So you press X to toggle between black and white to clean or restore. Now let's select both of this, the one first and the anniversary, the three of this, and then make it a little bigger. Yes, this is okay.
Okay, so we can actually also apply the effects we have on the one and the ST on this guest minister tag. So we just select that, select the whole group, and um, paste layer style because we already copied it. Okay, so that's fine. So the next thing is to add the other details. What is the theme? Let's call it um, Angelica Dream. We are going to type out the gathering. We'll use a font type, uh, font I love so much called creation. Yeah. Increase the font size so it gets visible. And then you can apply the same gradients we had over, over on this over that. So bear in mind we've already copied it so just right click and then paste so let's try and apply a stroke over the text and to do that it's, I'm going to use this trick the same font we are going to type out the small or the lower case of L now convert this to shape the reason why I'm converting it to shape is because I want to be able to manipulate the transformation so that it doesn't lose the it doesn't get too big. So what I'm doing now is using the direct select tool. I'm going to select this anchor point and drag them. Okay, so this is cool for me. Change the color to any of this and that's okay. Now let's type out the remaining information which is uh, the date and the venue and all of that. So we're going to speed up this process as well. And just follow along. I'm going to use the font uh, Montserrat for this. Now then we can also group this and then call it info details. It's good to keep things in groups so that you can easily trace them. Uh, we are going to call this theme. We are calling this background. Let's name our host. Let's change this to Montserrat. And then change the case and the font size to something smaller. So finally, let's just add the logo and we are done. So that's it. We are done with today's, uh, today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. If it was helpful, don't forget to do what we always ask you to do. Hit that subscribe button and we'll meet in another class. Have a good time.